Hi guys, my name is Seb Tudor, I'm the man on the Silver Mountain, and welcome back to Everspace Now. The probability of heavy encounters is higher in this area. Bring it on. Ah, we've, we've got some bad guys over there, but that's fine, because they're having a fight between themselves, so we'll leave them, I think we'll leave them to that for the moment. Let's head over here and uh, see what we can find first, and we'll hopefully leave them to kind of mop each other up, and then we'll come and clear up whatever's left. Space jellyfish. Hello, little friend. How are you today? Um, yeah, this is this is what turret. Okay. Um, but yeah, this this, this is going to be interesting because I I've been playing as I might have mentioned in the last video. Um, I've been playing No Man's Sky uh, a bit, and you'll probably see some of that later this week. To be fair, because of, of some of the things that I'll explain in that video, um, probably Thursday, I think maybe. Um, but uh, yeah, this is weird actually getting used to playing space dogfights like a. Oh. Getting used to playing space dogfights like a. Uh, a kind of maybe more conventional flight sim. Um, and now coming back to this and being able to strafe and, and maneuver in a much more precise way what what is this who 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 is for oh okar okar ships well let's take out the drone first uh, a bit far away. they've seen me we've got company yeah that, that's that's fine Another one off. Although here's me forgetting the I need to move more as well, which doesn't help. Um yeah, it's it's a little strange coming back to this. With the, the similarities in... What are those? Outlaws. Okay, we can we can fight some outlaws, that's fine. Outlaws is fine. As long as it's not a... A, a corvette. A car corvette, that'd be fine. Ow. so out of practice now it's so like like there are some games where you can just jump between them and you're fine um but now this this one why is a gmb fighter an enemy did i accidentally hit one i didn't mean to let's take out that car fighter maybe they will kill us along with the, the gmb guys who are currently now hammering on us because they feel inclined to. We're well, drawing fire! But you're you're a GMB fighter, why are you not? And again, I'm forgetting about my Gatling turret, which is 
something that I can probably not forget about. jumped in that far but also we had got some extra um, other bits and pieces so let's take a look what what other ones of these so we had the display on map one before GMB and Okai are hostile to each other jump destinations can't be chosen okay and that was the additional damage and the yeah, I think we'll stick with this one for the moment. Just because it's helping us find all of the, the others. Did we get another colour? Maybe. Are you a new no? Okay. Uh right, let's take a look at these perks then. How much did we have to spend? Not much, unfortunately, but. I want the retrieval stuff. I want because that way we're able to get our own guns and things back. Um, let's get another extra bonus to our credits. Whole hit points. Energy would probably be useful, wouldn't it? Because we're we were running out somewhat. Random three hundred. What's this? Trading. Oh, offer two services. Yeah, we probably should do that. I hadn't realised that, that was one that was there. Uh, let's go. Okay, <clears throat> let's start this again, shall we? generator uh, can't use it apparently anyway so that's fine what else have we got we got a fray to wreck ships turn up. Sounds nice. Uh, salvage those. Okay, so we've got we've got our jump signal suppressed at the moment. So somewhere over here. 
I mean, there are enemies over here as well, which would also make sense. Nope, it's somewhere over that way. Is it? Yes. Let's go and take a look at the wreck that these guys are hanging around. What are they? They're just drones. That's fine then. <coughs> this could be a sticky situation here. Could it? I'm not sure it could. Just, just saying. They die in one shot. Where's that thing? Okay. So what have we got? Any good? Any useful? Um, doesn't look like it now, does it? Nah. Maybe not. Right. Oh, no. Tell the light. There's something out there. So now we've got to find this jump suppressor, which is not in this direction, apparently. What's that? Mineable fuel. Well, we'll head that way anyway. Oh, is that glowy thing? No, it's G and B thing, is it? Oh no, it's not. It's actually it's, it's the suppressor. Cool. Oh, there's a. Gatling, as opposed to a gat adult. Let's get rid of that. Okay. So otherwise, we've just got that GMB station over here and a bit of minor fuel kit around. So what's that? Minor fuel. Yep, we'll take it. Oh, we got bad guys. So that's there's there's. I'm coming back. Who's coming back? to run into, just a, another little firefight there before we leave. <sighs> so we, we, we got pretty far a little while ago and then we've, we've just, oh let's go talk to our biologist friend because we've got stuff, we've got scans to hand in to him. Um, but yeah, it's, it's like the, uh, we, we went pretty far, we did pretty well for a while, and then unfortunately we've we've kind of either blown ourselves up, realise I'm including you guys in this, I've blown ourselves up um, uh, a few times since, unfortunately, probably because I've either not been paying attention or because I've, I've just been... As with this at the moment, I've not played for a week. Don't come any closer. Back. Oh, Mr. Roslin, it's you. I do apologize. You caught me off guard. 
I was quite absorbed in analyzing some samples. Don't worry about it. I'm used to it. I got oh, those green goo scanning. I thought I swapped back to the purple. Transmitting data. Oh, well, I don't mind this color Wonderful. scheme either. The Vero Veridica Australia is mesmerizing, isn't it? Almost translucent mitochondria. Oh, please, before I forget, here is your payment for the task. And while the data is being evaluated, would you mind answering for me the first question in my study of you? Sure, shoot. I'm hardly going to do that, Mr. Roslin. Anyway, my question, do you ever dream of cloned sheep? What? N no, not that I remember. Mind you, I rarely get the opportunity to sleep these days. Hmm, I see. Disappointing. So, are you ready for your next scanning task? Why Sounds not? Like enemies I feel like I'm learning the something here. Area. There is a fascinating growth under the surface of some ice asteroids. The Crescendia Astraglacius. Or in layman's terms, the Ice Clinger. If you can examine a sample, I will give you enough so you can hopefully get some rest afterwards and have some dreams for me. That would be nice. But wait. Ice clingers are not easy to identify. When the sun shines through the thinner parts of the asteroid, a glimmer should alert you to a growth. I'll keep my eyes peeled. Yeah, enemy dropped in behind us. So... Let's go help out. Yeah, I, I like Throng. I like... Um, I mean, apart from the the, uh, the Android stream of electric sheep reference, which was a, a bit heavy-handed. Result. Besides that, I, I, I do enjoy characters like that, that are, are just scientists and they enjoy their work, you know. Whether or not he turns out to be an evil scientist, uh, we'll have to see, but I don't think he is. He's just a biologist and he offers us a shop of things to take a look at if we get, is it Viridian Energy? So, or something with Viridian something? Uh, so, you know, I don't think he's a bad guy. I think he's just interested in stuff and I can very much appreciate that. And a tech container. Or is it just a normal container? No, it's a tech container. There we go. Uh, we don't really want either of those, unfortunately. There we go. Cool, I think might be it here because we've only the only other thing is another GMB station I mean there's some mine wall over there which we'll go get quickly before we leave uh, I mean there was something alive in that that jumped off into space but hey ho maybe that's what he's here to study oh Right, and now we'll be on our way, I guess. Yeah, like, what I'd like to happen is if, if we could find another couple of um, asteroids and things uh, with a lot of resources, uh, or another couple of places with... Um, uh, what are you? Oh, you're a GMB drone, even though there's a bad guy floating around over there. Okay, um, but no, I'd, I'd, li I'd like it if we were able Enemies to, in range. to uh, get hold of uh, another few uh, alien lifts symbols. Um, just because it's it's a case of then we can go and use the portals. Uh, attached to them, the portals in the in the kind of roofs of, of the chambers to um, 
to make some more progress, get back to where we were. Either that, or I'll uh, maybe have to take some time out of the weekend or something and uh, just try and advance, try and get back to what was Sector 6, Sector 6, Sector 7, something like that. Are these all drones? No, they're, they're actual drones. Okay. It's a shame that you can't turn off your turret though. It would be nice if you could activate it and then shut it down again to lower the cooldown on it. So, hey ho. Okay, so we've got that. Is there anything else kicking around? Seemingly not. Actually, Considering we're hovering around wrecks and having a look at stuff, there's there's one thing the the I felt was kind of missing from uh, from No Man's Sky, which I, I don't think I'll really get a chance to get into when uh, playing it with you guys, because I'll be paying attention to the game rather than here, where we've we've got a goal and we're headed in a direction, but you know we've we've time to, to get there under our own speed, although, as said, it is taking a little bit of a while. Ooh, ice asteroids. Can we scan? Will some of them shine at us? Please. Ooh. Ooh. Did you shine at me? No, I think that was just a normal reflection. Oh, there's one. Not so much a shine as just really creaky veins under the ice. Okay, so there have to be, there have to be some more. I'm sure there have to be some more. But yeah, one of the things the the I felt was kind of missing from. Sky just a little bit was uh, just that the you have these these vast open swathes of space. You've got derelict ships. You've got numerous planets. You've got a space station in every system, and yet there was there was one thing that just kind of stood out to me as missing. And that was that you don't have any derelict. Um, and there's, there, there are just no derelict stations, derelict ships um, in space. And maybe derelict stations you can understand because if there's a, a derelict, uh, or if there's a station in every single place, every single system, then you know it's going to be a hub of activity as they are. And so, you know, there are people always going to be using them. Fine, not a problem. Um, but if you've got ships that, that, you know, huge capital freighters, capital class freighters and stuff like that that have crashed, you know, ended up in, in trouble to one extent or another, and no one's come to salvage them, no one's come to help them, then I'm, I'm still sat there going, so what, what is it that made these crash in the first place? But also, surely they would, there would be some that wouldn't fall into planetary gravity wells and would just sit out there in space. That being said, where are they? And I, I was just thinking it would be really, in playing, you know, it would be cool to have, um, like, stations and, and other things that have no gravity systems turned off so you've got to kind of get on board jump back and forth between your ship uh to to kind of repair it bring its central systems back online they're on to me stuff. you know oh didn't see the missile to 
Those rockets kind of messed me up, but it's fine. We survived and we'll recover, I'm sure. Can't equip a shield as much as I would like to. I'm tempted to go back to one of the smaller ships because we did get the furthest with one of the, the smaller vehicles. So maybe... Or one of the ones with uh, something to it. So even if I, I quite like this ship, maybe for the in the interests of uh, getting further, I should go back to one of the uh, the other ships. Maybe try out one that we've not looked at before. Who knows? But I just I just want to see the uh, kind of because it was when we got to like sector six or sector seven. Um, you had Hive telling us that you know we were we were close, that that we were um, not far from kind of finding out what was next, and so I, I want to get there again. You know I want to find out what's next, but unfortunately then we we blew up in the uh, the very thick low visibility areas of space which is kind of unfortunate um, and we've, we've just kind of stalled a little bit since so maybe maybe I should have a good crack at that and then once we get back to kind of sector 6, sector 7 we'll come back and we can continue I don't know, we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll have a think I'll, I'll see how much time I've got and then, uh, yeah, maybe maybe I'll skip some of the, the tedium for you guys so, and, and kind of just build up to it in my own time so that then we can come back and uh, just see what's next. I think that GMB guy's got it. They don't tend to pick up the stuff that's left behind, so even if he destroys them, if they drop anything good, then... Salvage the light missiles... Okay, so what else have we got? We got more mineable ore. Is that it? And the outlaw. Okay, maybe he doesn't have it. Let's, let's go help him. In fact, talking about sci-fi references, there's some because this is this has a couple of them in there. Oh, great! Um, As we advance, we grow and learn.
every time. Interesting that these bases are kind of built onto asteroids, mostly in parts of space that have impaired sensors. What's that? What's that? Is it just scrap or is it something interesting? Oh, it's a freighter wreck. There is a freighter wreck. Great. That's uh. Blueprint. Yeah, we'll take the blueprint. That sounds good to me. Nano kits. in here and just being like, oh, this this is alright, this this is interesting. And it wasn't too tight with the other ship. Uh, not, not really so with this one. This this one's a, a fat boy. Uh, ancient friends on it. Okay, that's the one with the most interesting name so far. But I kind of want to know what it is. But that would mean dying, and I don't want to do that. Oh, wow, we jumped straight to where? Careful! I am registering a wormhole signature. Carly? Hey, fancy that. Pretty crazy coincidence, right? Adam, what are you doing here? I just happen to be in the area. I'm as amazed as you are. Really? You, uh... You can use wormholes? Now that is unusual. I, I can detect and open up wormholes. It's G&B technology they lent me to complete my tasks. Sure From G&B? Why have I never heard of this before? And where do these wormholes lead to? Standard G&B equipment. It's just not for everybody. That's enough questions, Adam. I really don't have to explain myself to you. Ships all right. Be I'm just curious is all. Well, you know what they say about curiosity. Look, uh, I've got a lot of stuff to do. At this rate, I'm sure we'll meet again. Probably, although I don't I trust think I you. Inform you. Most wormholes in this part of the cluster lead to the Okar homeworlds. I cannot imagine that GNB would have the enemy to see me. To the Okar homeworlds? Hi. Yes, it did. Do you think this really is GNB tech like she said? The wormholes are a byproduct of Stealing Okar Brain. Shit. How, how dare created you. while excavating the highly volatile crystal energy source, which the Okar call Viridian Energy. Viridian Energy, yeah, it is Viridian Energy. In simple terms, the energy crystal signatures released generate a wormhole's basic physics. Over time, the Okar developed a resonance to manipulate the wormhole's stability, allowing safe and fast passage. The main product, Viridian Energy, is primarily used to power the internal infrastructure. For GNB to possess this technology is possible, but for them to use it would be a violation of the current armistice agreement. 
So Carly is definitely up to something. Mystery deepens. As if we didn't already know that, Adam. But anyway, I'm going to call it here. Now that we're in this place and we have seen these things and there's a repair station over there and whatever else, so I probably shouldn't have used those nanobots because we probably could have paid with cash. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the video tomorrow. Take care. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video and found it interesting, please drop us a like, share this video, and subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the video tomorrow. Take care.